Jesse Metcalf is Eric, a resolutely single author who lives in an ultra-modern house with a massively massive kitchen in an otherwise traditional suburban neighborhood. He's also the only one on the block who refuses to decorate for the holidays. He's like a professional jerkwad. Fiona Goobelman is April, Eric's Christmas crazy neighbor. She's also a professional violinist. Though their houses are two apart, through some freakish natural phenomenon, they can hear everything the other does, yet the neighbor between them never complains about any noise. It's very strange. Eric is convinced he has a Christmas jinx just because he was once jilted on Christmas and had a classic Corvette stolen while full of Christmas gifts on another. Sorry, Eric, that's just not bad enough to be a full-on tragic backstory. Have your father bail on the family or both of your parents die at Christmas and then get back to us. Meanwhile, April is offered a chance to audition for the Philharmonic, but she's scared because of hiccups. Eric's mom plays him and gets him to take his sister's kids for a few days. He even has to drive a minivan to haul them around. They buy a Christmas tree, decorate by montage, and go shopping at a Christmas market. His wrong gal girlfriend, who is the film's token ginger, takes the kids to see Santa. Meanwhile, April helps Eric shop for gifts. It's a bonding moment, as most Christmas markets are. Eric's friends think he's acting weird with the kids around. He says he kind of likes to change, even driving the minivan. We know he's lying because nobody likes driving a minivan. He spots April coming home from a date and gets jealous, probably because the other guy is not driving a minivan. Eric and April go awkward ice skating. He comes clean about outgrowing his image and needing to change what he writes. They have a near-miss kiss that is interrupted by one of the kids. April convinces him to go caroling with the neighbors. Then the wrong gal Ginger shows up, interrupting a movie night with April. She's there to officially end it with him. She doesn't like guys who like children or fun or happiness. Yeah, she's a winner. April only sees their final goodbye kiss and misreads it. She thinks it's a problem. It isn't. They make up with little effort and kiss under the falling fano. Anyway, here are scores. And that's our lightning review for Christmas Next Door. To watch another episode of Schmaltzmark, click on the upper left. Or to subscribe to our channel, Wannabe Films, click on the upper right.